We're back in practicing vector skills, um, looking at number 7 through 16. Uh, we're starting off with number 7, D equals 80 meters per second, 75 degrees above the po positive X. So we're, if we remember, there's our coordinate plane, our X, so that's going to be our negative X, that's going to be our positive Y, that's going to be our positive X, and that's going to be our negative Y. So if we're dealing with something that's above the positive X, we're coming over this which is going to give us a ray that will go thusly. And we know it is 80 meters per second. And it is 75 degrees above the positive x. So there's our angle, 75 degrees. And what we are asked for is the x and the y. And if you recall, your x is going to be this thing. And your y is going to be and that's basically what we're asked for. We have to figure out how big the x is and how big the y is. Um, going back to our trig, we remember Sokotoa, and we're going to use this a lot. C-A-H-T-O-A, -A, also known as sine, is opposite over hypotenuse. Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. And tangent is opposite over adjacent. We've got here, this is our opposite side, this is our adjacent side. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to use cosine of the angle, 75 degrees, equals adjacent over hypotenuse. But we already know the hypotenuse, and that hypotenuse is 75, uh, I'm sorry, 80. And this is going to be sine 75 equals opposite over 80. So that's going to give us the opposite side. That's going to give us the adjacent side. And remember, the opposite is also the y. The adjacent is the x. If you do this, solve uh, cosine 75 equals a over 80. You can just multiply 80 with cosine 75 over 1. 80 times cosine 75, 1 times a. You should end up with an x of 21 meters per second. And you should end up with a y x equals 21. Y equals, I'm rounding by the way, 77 meters per second. Same deal with number 8, uh, 15 meters due west. So we're going to again start at the origin. That's how we kind of start these things. Uh, we are going to go due west. So it'll be... I hope this actually helps you a little bit. Uh, 15 meters. Remember, that's in the negative x dimension, so we're going to say the x is negative 15 meters, and our y is going to be 0 meters, because it's not going up or down at all. Number 9 is 10 meters, 30 degrees below the negative x, so here's our negative x. We're going to draw our arrow. It's actually not the arrow. So give us an arrow. Here's our arrow. And we're saying it's 30 degrees below the negative x. So here's our negative x. So below it is going to put our angle between the negative x and our ray. So we're going to say 30 degrees. And again, we're looking for the x and the y. Let's look. Remember, here's the x. This is going to be our y. And what we are going to do is we're going to go ahead and recall Sokotoa. This is going to be our adjacent side. That's our opposite side. So to figure out the adjacent, it's going to be cosine of 30. And we need to know our side is 10 meters for our hypotenuse. So equals the adjacent side over the hypotenuse. And if you do your algebra, you should end up with 8.7, but it's actually negative 8.7 because we're going in that direction. And our opposite is going to be sine of 30 equals opposite over 10. And if you do your algebra, just like we did before, cross multiply, uh, we should end up with the y being negative 5 because, again, we are going down. 
So the x is 8.7 negative, and the y is negative 5. Hope that helped. 10, uh, we're going to actually be doing something a little bit different. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be making uh, hypotenuses from two vectors. So our first thing is going to say the g of dx is positive 8 meters per second. So positive means we're going, positive in the x means we're going to the right. And then the y is negative 5. So we know this is positive 8. And then the y, they want us to go negative 5, which means the y up is positive, down is negative. We're going to have to go down by 5. Down, 5. And now we're going to connect these two. And we'll say whatever, how big this thing is. And we have to also figure out our angle. So we need to do two things here. We need to figure out that hypotenuse. We need to figure out that angle. Uh, to figure out the hypotenuse, 8 squared plus 5 squared equals the hypotenuse squared. So 64 plus 25 equals the hypotenuse squared. Uh, this is going to go ahead and give us, I believe, 99, 89. So 9, 89. 89 equals h squared, but I don't want h squared, I want h. So I take the square root of both sides. The hypotenuse is actually going to be 9.4. So that's your hypotenuse, that's the magnitude of g. And then we've got an adjacent and a hypotenuse, or an opposite. So to figure out the angle, it's going to be inverse tangent of 5 over 8, opposite over adjacent. And if you plug that into your calculator, you should end up with 32 degrees. And uh, there you go, so 32 degrees. So 9.4 meters per second at 32 degrees, technically below the positive x. 11, uh, negative 200 miles and positive 320. So we're going to start out the x is negative 200. I'll use that. Maybe. Start out negative 200 miles. 200. And then we'll kick this on. And we'll go positive. Positive 300. Again, not to scale. Positive 320. So now we've got to one more time do our a squared plus b squared equals c squared. We're going to go ahead and figure out from here to there. How far is it? Um, unfortunately, I have my calculator with me, so all I'm going to be able to do is give you how to do it, but I can't actually plug it in. Um, 200, actually negative 200 squared plus 320 squared should give you a big number. And we'll take the square root of that big number, and you should end up with 377 miles. And then to figure out this angle, because that's the angle we started here, remember, so we need to find this angle. Um, we're going to go inverse tangent of the opposite over adjacent, 320, because that's the opposite, that's our adjacent, over 200. You can drop in the positive negative. I'll know what you're talking about uh, on a quiz or a test. Uh, and you should end up with about 58 degrees, and that's technically above the negative x. So if you started here, here's your coordinate plane system. Positive x, positive y, negative x, negative y. Um, here's our negative x, so we are 58 degrees above the negative x. Uh, now for the fun stuff, where we're adding vector components. So, uh, number 12, we've got I, which is 5 meters south. And I'm going to freehand this. Negative 5 meters, because it's negative in the y dimension. And then J is 2 meters north, positive 2 meters. And if you remember, we do tip to tail. So, tip of the second to the tail of the first, or tip, tail of the first, second to tip of the first. Um, What's the difference between 5 and 2? 
the answer is going to be negative 3. So you ended up from here to here, you dropped by 3 meters. Uh, and that's going to be 3 meters. So. Um, 13 is actually where we really start adding vectors. K is 5 meters per second west, so we'll start this off. Um, always do that. 5 meters per second west. We'll say that's 5. And I'm putting a negative because we're going west. We're going left. So once again, here's your coordinate plane. Positive y, positive x, negative y, negative x. Um, and we are starting here. So we're starting that way, tip to tail. The second vector is going to be 2 meters per second north. So we're going to go up like that. So we're starting with negative 5, and we're going to positive 2. And we are going to, one more time, and the easiest way we can do it is a squared, b squared, c squared. Start there. To figure out this, it will be negative 5 squared plus 2 squared equals h squared. Uh, put all that together, and you should end up with this being 5.4 meters per second um, and then to figure out the angle inverse tan of the opposite over the adjacent 2 over 5 again you can drop the negative it's kind of irrelevant and you should end up with an angle of 22 degrees north of west because you are going west first, then north second, so you're going north of west. 14, 15, and 16, this is where things really start getting a little more interesting. 14 is 5 meters, 45 degrees due southeast. And 10 meters, 60 degrees, north of east. What we have to do is we have to put both of these together and come up with, if you start one place, where do you end if you follow both of these directions? So what I'm going to go ahead and do, and, and this is what I was suggesting to some of you during class, is you really need to go ahead and make yourselves a uh, pair of coordinate planes just to kind of put things into perspective. So there's one. There's the other. And if you... Add two coordinate planes together, you should get a third, and that's what we're ultimately getting at. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and, and sort of do something that they don't tell you to do, but we're going to do it anyway. X and the Y, X and the Y, X and the Y. So we're going to take this X and this Y from this, and this X and this Y from this, and we're going to put it over here to get a total. So we're essentially adding these two things together. Uh, and then we're going to do that for 14, 15, and 16. So the first thing is 5 meters, 45 degrees due southeast. So if it's due exactly southeast, we are going at exactly 45 degrees. So, boom, 45 degrees. That will give us 5 meters there. We are looking for a y and an x. And we know the y is going to be a negative y because we're going down, but the x is going to be a positive x. Um, to do this, we're going to go, again, this is the adjacent side. This is the opposite side. This is going to be given by cosine 45 equals adjacent over 5. The y will be sine 45 equals opposite over 5. And if we do this right, we should actually end up with, uh, now I have to go to the calculator. So bear with me for a second. And I'm back, got my calculator. Uh, we're going to have to go 5 times the cosine of 45, which is 3.53. So this x is going to be 3.53. And 5 times the sine of 45, that's also going to be 3.53. 
but in the y it's going to be a negative because we are going down. All right. So that's one piece. Hang on to that in your little mind for a few minutes. Second one, we got to go 10 meters, 60 degrees north of east. So we're going to go this way at an angle of 60 degrees. And we have to figure out the y and the x. x, y. This is going to be given by sine of 60 equals opposite over the J, uh, hypotenuse, which is 10. That's that. Uh, and this will be given to us by cosine of 60 equals the adjacent over 10. If you plug in do your algebra correctly, you should end up with sine of 60 times 10. Let's try that again. 60. 8.66. So this guy's going to be 8.66. And that's positive because we're going up. You're starting here, you're ending here. So to go from there to there, you have to go up in the y and over in the x. So we know the y is positive 8.66. The x is going to be uh, 10 times the cosine of 60, which is going to give us a positive 5. So I'm going to call it the total x. What you do, again, we're going to add this vector to this vector and see where you end up. So somehow, some way, we're starting here. We're going to go in the x, positive 3 and a half, I'm going to call it, plus 5. So we're going to go, your total x is going to be positive 8.5. And your y is going to be negative 3 plus 8.6. So let's see. Negative 3.53 plus 8.66. 5.1. I'm just going to call it 5.1. 5.1. 5 .1. 5 .1. So we're going to go, what this really means when we add everybody together, we're going to go in the x. 8.5, again, not too scale, 8.5, and then in the y, we're going to go up 5.1, 5.1, and then what we are asked for, if I started here and I ended there, where am I going? So, that's the result. And that's what happens if you go down to the right and then up there. You started here. It's you start here, which means you're starting here, and you end there, and you're ending there. But this is the net for the whole thing, uh, starting at the beginning and ending at the end. Uh, so we've got a eight and a half squared plus five point one squared. Again, a squared, b squared, c squared. 8.5 squared plus 5.1 squared equals hypotenuse squared, which should have given us about 9.95. I would take 10, close enough. And then the, the angle, we're going to be doing inverse tangent of the opposite over the adjacent. So 5.1 over 8.5. And that should give you 31 degrees. Hope that helps. Hope that actually demystifies 15 and 16 for you because they're basically the same thing. Uh, 15 is, I'm just going to make myself the, the coordinate plane again. 1, 2, We're going to add these two together, and then we're going to get this third one. I really hope this is helping you guys out. Uh, so 15 calls for 3 meters in the positive x. I'm just going to 
because it's only one dimension. So we're going that way, positive x, 3 meters. And then the other piece is 60, 6 meters, 70 degrees above the negative x. So we're going to go this way. Boom. 6 meters, 70 degrees. And what we need to do is resolve both of these into their x's and y's. We'll get the total x and y. And if you recall, we've got to figure out what this side is and what that side is. And again, adjacent, opposite. This guy's easy. The x would be positive 3. The y is going to be 0. This is going to be given to us. The adjacent side, or the x, will be given by cosine of 70 equals uh, adjacent over 6, and the y will be given to us by sine of 70 equals opposite over 6. And this is all back to Sokotoa again. So, calculator one more time. We're going to have to do 6 times the cosine of 70, which is 2. That will be our x. It's 2. However, it's going Starting here, going to the left, so it's actually negative 2. The y is going positive, so it'll be 6 sine of 70. 5.6 positive, 5.6. Again, we're going up. Uh, so plus 3 minus 2 is positive 1. The y is going to be positive 5.6. So we are going to go, and I'm not going to do this scale even closely, but positive 1. We'll change the color for the y. Positive 5.6. And let's get the actual signs here. 1, 5.6. We will connect the dots. So we need both the hypotenuse and theta. So 1 squared plus 5.6 squared equals the h squared. And if you do that all out, you should end up with 5.72 for the hypotenuse. And then if you do uh, inverse tangent of the opposite, 5.6 over the adjacent, 1, you should end up with uh, 80 degrees, give or take. So we're going to call that angle 80 degrees. So I hope uh, adding vectors together is kind of making a little bit more sense. If you're going to go plus 3 and then minus 2, you're not going to be going plus 1. Again, these are not to scale, but these are more to help you see what's going on. So I want to do the color. Um, sure. All right, last but certainly not least, 16. Uh, one more time, we're going to set ourselves up with some coordinate planes. That are perfect, even though they shouldn't be perfect. It's very frustrating. So 16, and this is good. 16 is going to be very interesting and simple. So we're adding two to get a third. Um, our first vector is going to be 100 kilometers in the negative x. So again, not to scale, but we're going to be going negative 100 kilometers. And that's it. So x, y, the x is going to be negative 100 kilometers. The y is going to be 0 because we're not going anywhere in the y. Uh, the second vector that we're going to be adding to it is 50 kilometers 45 below the negative x. So we're going to go this thing, we'll go that way, because we're going below the negative x, and it's telling me it's 50 kilometers at an angle of 45 degrees below the negative x. We need this and that. That is not even close. It's right there. We need that and that. So my y and my x. 
my opposite, my adjacent. To figure out the adjacent, we're going to use cosine. 45 equals, because that's the angle, the adjacent over 50. The opposite, we'll use sine. 45 equals the opposite over 50. If we do some calculations now, 50 cosine 45. And this is the shortcut that I use because I know we're cross multiplying. 50 times cosine 45. Cosine 45 is just a number, so you can treat it like a number. Um, is going to give us an adjacent or an x of 35.35, but we're going in the negative direction, so that's a negative. And then the opposite is going to be 50 sine 45. You should end up with 35 negative again 0.35. That should make sense because 45, 45, 90, 90 triangle. So to add this all total, essentially you're doing something that goes like this. We do that way by 100 and then that way by 50. So you start here and it would stand to reason we're going to end up somewhere around here. Where exactly? Well, you're going to add the x's. Negative 100 plus negative 35. So you're going to have a negative 135. And then the y is going to be negative 35.35. And one more time. Let's just do, to illustrate my point, you're going to go over really, really far in the x, because that's what happens when you add your x's together, and then you go down kind of not so far, because that's what happens when you add your y's together, but you started here, you ended there, just like here, just you started there and you ended up there. So, um, this puts this into just x's and y's, so you got this thing, which is a bunch of slanting lines. This is what happens when you add all the x's from this and all the y's from this. Uh, you should end up with um, an angle, as well as a hypotenuse and the rest of the triangle. So the blue is uh, 135, and the red is going to be negative 35. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. The square root of that should give you 140 kilometers. So 135 squared plus 35 squared equals the hypotenuse squared. Again, you can drop the negatives because it really doesn't matter. They're just sides of a triangle. Um, the negatives is telling me which direction we're really going in, but not the magnitude. All I care about is the magnitude to get the magnitude of the, uh, the, the resultant vector. And then for the angle, we have a perfectly good opposite and a perfectly good adjacent. So tan. Negative 1, opposite, 35, over adjacent, 135, should give you 15 degrees below the negative x. Let's just verify that. Second, 10, 35, over 135, 14.53. All these are rounded, so if you came in pretty close, to it, we're, we're, we're in good shape. So that's, um, that's adding and re working with these vectors, and I hope that helped you. Uh, you know, we're going to have a quiz on, on Tuesday, so if you have any issues with this, uh, one more time, uh, shoot me an email. Uh, I'll be back, I'll be back on, on Monday sometime, uh, later on. So if I get your email, if I can, if I can do it from my phone or if I can do it from the computer, I will. But, uh, if it's something that's not terribly pressing, I'll be able to get it back to you, uh, on Tuesday. But with this, you know, we might do one or two for practice on Tuesday, but I really do want to have a nice quiz on Tuesday. Fair deal. I hope this helped. I hope you study up. I hope you have a good weekend. Enjoy. Bye-bye.